Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, d And now, this is opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Collins. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. There's a lot of volume with the feet tonight. It's unbelievable to watch the body make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Look at the turbo in that kick. Leg kick. He hits in the single collar guy. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's dread, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, great combination of strikes there. Oh, right under the elbow, right under the elbow. Perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. Huge block there. 
man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Another shot lands upstairs. 20 seconds left. Look at him working at trying to shut it. Oh, he landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it for the throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great shot. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice oh. right here. Oh, that's not oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to chase that finish down now. Lands a good combination. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata's call stop to this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Holland! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.